Okay, guys, so um, what if they asked you to find the fourth term in the expanded form of p minus 2q to the 6 power? So, yeah, it's true. We do have <clears throat> a uh, binomial to the power of 6 right here, okay? Um, and we should think of Pascal's triangle. There it is. And since we know that we're dealing with the power of 6, we would have to go down all the way to that sixth row down, okay? Because after all, um, the power of zero equals one, the power of one gives you that second one, and so on and so on. That's how they're all related. So what we're gonna have to use is all these numbers right here is coefficients followed by two parentheses on each number. One, six, fifteen, twenty, fifteen, six, and one, followed by two parentheses behind each number. So let me begin that. I'm gonna move this up here, just so we could focus in on those uh, last numbers right there. And I want to rewrite them as. Uh, so if I uh, rewrite those numbers followed by two parentheses after each one, that that's what we end up with right there. And we could zoom in on that and see that. Now, what else do we need to do? We also need to fill in the uh, powers, okay? Now, since we know that the max power right here is 6, we're going to begin with that max power of 6 on the first parenthesis, which means that the second parenthesis is going to have a 0. And then it's going to drop to a 5, and the other one's going to increase to a 1, and then it's going to drop to a 4, increase to a 2, and then it's going to drop to a 3 and increase to a 3 and then drop to a 2 and then increase to a 4 and it's going to drop to a 1 and increase to a 5 and at the very end it's completely flipped where you have a 0 on the power of the first one and a 6 the power of the second one so if we take a look at this there's a lot of work here it's super tiny now um, I need to plug in my p into uh, the first parenthesis and my negative 2q into my second parenthesis. So as you could see, I magically put in the p's on all the first parentheses. You could even zoom in and check them all out. So there's the p uh, with the power of 6, the p right there. The p is all in the first parenthesis only. And I need to go back to all of these and put the negative 2q on the second parenthesis, okay? Negative 2q on the second parenthesis. And there it is. I magically put in a negative 2q on all the second parentheses. And now, as you can see, this is a ridiculous amount of work. I mean, think about all of this right here. Going through all of that work, all of that work right there. Okay, but what we're going to do is only do the part they're asking us to do. And what are they asking us to do here? It says find the fourth term. So this would be your first term, this would be your second term, this would be your third term, this would be your fourth term. Once again, zooming in, this is your first term, this is your second term, this is your third term, this is your fourth term. <clears throat> So all we need to do is focus in on this math. Okay, let's find the fourth term. Well, what is p to the third power? That's simply p to the third power. And what about the 20 that's out in the front? Just bring it down, put a times right there. Now the real math comes in right here. When you have negative 2q to the third power, what is negative 2q to the third power? Well, uh, technically, you're going to have to uh, show some work here. You're going to have negative 2 to the third power, and you're also going to have q to the third power. So what is negative 2 to the third power? That's really uh, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which gives you a negative 8, and q to the third is simply q to the third. And what is happening between this first term and the second term? There's multiplication between there. So what I really need to do is multiply um, this guy times this guy. So what kind of math do we need to do here? Let's multiply the numbers. What is 20 
times negative 8, that would be negative 160. And then let's go for the p's. How many p's are there? There's a p to the third. And there's a q to the third. And ladies and gentlemen, that's your answer. If they're asking for the fourth term, then that's what you put. Negative 160, p to the third, q to the third, and that is it.